we're looking at here is possibly some mower bone. It's quite old, about 600 years ago. So it's a pretty exciting find. You can imagine people drawing up their large waka, needing a place to beach it, and this is a perfect place. So one of the fascinating things about the artefacts that we've found in the excavations is the range of stone materials. And all of the major sources in the North Island are represented here. This tray is full of obsidian artefacts. This one's really interesting. You can see that it's got a quite distinctive red colour. When we put this under the XRF, we can tell from the trace elements that it came from Taupo. I think that's really characteristic of the sort of sediment that we see when Polynesian people first make it to New Zealand. They're moving around a great deal, but exploring this fantastic new land. When we find an artefact and we put it in a plastic bag here with a unique identification number, then uh, Josh comes along with his robotic total station. So we make a great use of lasers that let us locate material in 3D space. So we literally can recreate a computer model of the archaeological excavation that we've done in the field. Green is uh, stone artefacts, the uh, red is firecrack rock, and blue is bone. Can you turn everything off and just leave the bone on? Yep. So it looks like it's mostly in the lower levels. The objects themselves are always very interesting, but it's really the interrelationship between all those objects that we're finding that is so fascinating. What we do in the summer, in February, is we undertake a field school. So for two weeks, we take our senior students who are majoring in archaeology to give them more than just hands-on experience in a classroom, really involve them in the whole process of archaeology. Yeah, I feel really privileged to be able to come out here and to do the work that we're doing out here. And I mean, the archaeology is really rich out here as well. So how are things going for you, Eloise? I'm doing pretty well. We've got a very busy year run up here in Weipa. So a lot of my students have gone on to work for state governments in different countries. They work in many areas of commercial archaeology. Major companies employ archaeologists. For most people today, if you ask them what an archaeologist do, they'll think Indiana Jones. They probably wouldn't be thinking laser scanners, uh, total stations, digital photography. You're getting a lot of students in who are really taking the theory to new levels. The thought, you know, gee, archaeology's been around for more than 100 years, we must have excavated everything. But in fact, the opposite is true. We've just scratched the surface. And there's so much potential in New Zealand for future generations of archaeologists to really get to grips with understanding what is a fascinating history.